So what's good, family? Listen, man, we about to check out the top 10 terrifying things you should never say to Alexa. All right, and plus, as an added bonus, I got a police video at the end, so stay for the full video. It gets crazier, all right? Before we get to the videos, though, man, I need y'all to help me unplug some more people out of the matrix, and you do that by spamming the like button then putting hashtag unplugged in the comment section, all right? And subscribe if you're new. Let's check out the video. Make sure you turn yours off because I'm going to be saying Alexa a lot. And if you're a Google Home user, well, the rules still apply. I don't want anybody getting jealous around here. Let's get right into the spooky stories as we dive into part two of the top 10 terrifying things you should never say to Alexa. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have, is there a ghost in here? If you're like me and every strange noise you hear in your home makes you think that it must be haunted by some sort of spirit, then you definitely are not going to want to ask Alexa this terrifying question. Sometimes when you're home alone, you need that extra bit of comfort, that security blanket of another person. So maybe perhaps you'll find yourself turning to your Alexa for a bit of companionship. Maybe you'll be asking your Alexa, is there a ghost in here? Well, Alexa has a few different responses. I don't think I want to know. I don't, it's certain things you just leave alone. You just, <laughs> just let it be. Don't ask, you don't know, you're fine, you can go on. I don't want to know. Responses she might give, none of them are exactly reassuring, especially in a bit of a frightening moment. I mean, the answer she gave definitely didn't make me feel like there wasn't a ghost around, if you know what I mean. Maybe our trusty little AI assistants are able to see into the other realms that could possibly surround us. In our number nine spot today, we have the conversation. There's a good chance that a few of us have a few different digital assistants with us. Of course, the three most popular being Alexa, Siri, and Google, and one bored or curious person might perhaps wonder what would happen if they all spoke to each other. I for sure never wondered that until the question was posed to me. I'll be honest, it's kind of weird witnessing these devices speak to each other. It just gives you another glimpse into these AIs and their capabilities. There are a few ways to do this. Some could basically have the assistants going and speaking to each other in an endless loop. Others will have short, strange conversations. And sometimes you might even be able to get the assistants to insult each other. In each of these these instances, That's it can be a little about. creepy to see just how good at conversing these devices can really be. In our number eight spot today, we have chemtrails. If you were to ask Alexa what a chemtrail is, she just might get the conspiracy theory energy flowing through you. I personally don't have an Alexa, but I do have a Google, and I trust what this thing says. But I'm learning that while these assistants are of course very smart robots, sometimes they may lead us a bit astray. And depending on your beliefs, this could be one of those instances. If you ask Alexa what a chemtrail is, she won't give you a super straightforward response, but she will show her true conspiracy colors. Her answer would be along the lines of, quote, chemtrails. Trails left by aircrafts are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Now, the conspiracy theory is that the chemtrails are being sprayed into the atmosphere to cool the planet off due to global warming. That's what I've heard. What have you guys heard? That's what I've I've heard about chemtrails. Now, it's been denied, but the conspiracy theory is what I just said it was. That's what I've been hearing. Y'all let me know what y'all heard about chemtrails and everything like that. Closed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Okay. Alexa, she's really out here spreading the rumors. If you are mistrusting of the government or easily persuade by these sorts of theories, it's best to perhaps refrain from asking your Alexa this question. In our number seven spot today, we have, are there aliens? Most of us at some point or another have found us asking ourselves or someone else this question. Are aliens real? Are there aliens? I personally am a believer because I think that in the vastness of this universe, we certainly cannot be the only ones. Right? I'm not sure if they're visiting us or not, or whether we'll ever meet these aliens, but the odds are pretty good that they exist in some way, somewhere out there. I do, however, know that this thought is really freaky to some people, and especially to those who believe that aliens have been in contact with us. If you ask Alexa if there are aliens, her answers might send you into a tailspin of alien theories. She won't really give you a firm response, perhaps this is because nobody truly knows the answer, or maybe it's because she's trying to keep all of her secrets. If you're feeling bold, 
ask Alexa about aliens, but just remember, it might have you looking up to the sky full of far more questions than answers. In our number six spot today- Or, or, ask her, here's a good one, are we aliens? And see what she says. I might do that. I ain't even gonna lie to you. As soon as that question was brought up, that instantly sparked that question in my brain. I was like, you know what? I might ask her that today. That might be something I do today. Maybe not. I don't know. Today we have the spy device. Okay, so this one's more of like a scary Alexa story, but I just find them so crazy and freaky and I always want to share them with you. This story starts off in the midst of the storyteller's mom going through a divorce, which we all know can be a very messy, messy situation. The ex-husband in this situation had apparently planted an insane amount of hidden cameras throughout the house that they had to search for to find once the pair had split up. Entrances and exits, the living and dining room, the hallway, the bedroom, like literally everywhere in the house was being monitored. Then they found out that he had bugged her laptop so as to be able to have remote access to it. And then when she took her car in for an oil change, the mechanic found a tracking device that had been placed on it. This was all found during like the separation era. But once the divorce process actually started, things got even creepier. They wrote, quote, once the divorce started and he officially moved out, we scanned the entire house for bugs and didn't find anything. So we were really Really freaked out when he started calling, texting, emailing her, complimenting her outfits, asking how friends were as they were in the house, asking how her trip to the store was, and really just like odd things that Yo. he couldn't have possibly known about. As it turns out, this guy somehow connected his phone to the Alexa dot beforehand, and he was now using it to record whoever was close enough to the Alexa to be picked up on the mic, and at this point he was still able to access the laptop and its camera. You know... That's the scary part of this, these devices, man, that people can really attach themselves or attach something to it and turn it into like some type of spy device and be looking in at you and your friends and just stalking you and stuff like that's the, the negative side of this, man, that nobody really talks about. It's like hush hush all the time. No, expose that. I would like to know if I have a potential device in my home that somebody can turn into their own little personal spy device and be looking in on me and watching me and stuff like that. Especially if it was a person you, you've been with, you were married to. Like, yeah, no, no. That's, that's beyond creepy and freaked out. Bro, I'd have everything covered up, unplugged, all that type of stuff. You wouldn't be able to, no, no. Walk How around, absolutely. Be walking around with the lights off. Absolutely horrifying is that. He was literally using the Alexa to spy on them. It's so creepy. It's so disgusting. And it definitely makes you question every single person who might be connected yep. to your devices. In our number five spot today. Oh, and that's another thing. People who come over to your house and be like, Hey, what's the Wi-Fi password? Hey, what's the Wi-Fi password? Hey, that I've even begun to become skeptical of that as well. People do that, y'all. Seem like every time somebody, I'm like, don't you have the cell phone? Can't you use your network off your cell phone? Why you gotta tap into the Wi-Fi? I never do that when I go over to somebody's house. Unless I'm I'm there and I'm staying and I have my laptop and I'm trying to work. Then I would be like, okay, what's your, what's the Wi-Fi password so I can my laptop and everything like that. But it's I'm just so skeptical of that too. I don't know. You question every single person who might be connected to your devices. In our number five spot today, we have vulnerability. According to Forbes, there was a company called Checkmarks who found quite the little vulnerability a few years ago when it came to Alexa devices. Basically, the company works to test the security of different devices, and when they were running Alexa through the checks, they found something that might turn your assistant into a device that just listens to and records every single thing that you say. Basically, Alexa has a function where it will listen for follow up commands from the user. What I mean by this is, should you set an alarm, Alexa might reply and ask if you meant AM or PM, and during this sort of follow-up period is where the vulnerability shows itself. The team was able to gain access quite easily by installing malicious code into what would seem like an innocent app. In this case, it was the calculator. After doing this, in a normal Alexa, there would only be a certain list of phrases that would have the device listening for a follow-up question. But now, with this malicious code, they found a way for Alexa to 
listen for the follow up, but with any word, meaning that they could essentially tap in any time that they wanted. Apparently, the good news is that Amazon has fixed this. In response to the hack, they said, quote, Customer trust is important to us and we take security and privacy seriously. We have put mitigations in place for detecting this type of skill behavior reported by check marks. Well, it seems safe, hearing these sorts of possibilities does make you pretty nervous about what could be hiding behind your Alexa. In our number four spot today, we have this scary story. You can ask your Alexa to tell you a scary story and she will happily oblige. There isn't really a catch with this one, to be perfectly honest. If you want a scary story, you'll receive one. So just make sure you're really ready and in the mood before asking your assistant for a fright. This can be an awesome tool for people looking for a spooky tale for anyone in the home who needs some chilling entertainment, but beware. These stories can be a little too scary for some. There was a video posted to the internet in October of last year where some people at a sleepover asked Alexa to tell them a spooky Halloween tale, and things very quickly went awry. They were all way too terrified of the story Alexa told and couldn't get the Alexa to stop. They were all sufficiently freaked out and reacted in a way that I know will be a core memory for the years to come, and they definitely learned not to ask Alexa this question. In our number three spot today, we have the secret societies. We definitely learned on part one of this series that Alexa might just be hiding more than a few dark secrets, and this is just another one of those. Alexa might be a part of everybody's favorite conspiracy theory, secret society, the Illuminati. While there are plenty of celebrities out there that people always connect to the Illuminati, this is one celebrity that a lot of us can just ask. Asking Alexa if she is connected to the Illuminati will have her answering the question with a bit of a non-answer, really. So much so that I definitely cannot confirm or deny if she really is a part of the Illuminati. I guess Alexa is really? just an AI that is full of mysteries and maybe even a few secrets she's not ready to spill. See, now y'all planting stuff in my head. I never associated Alexa with Illuminati. I never thought about that or anything, but y'all just, just planted that one in my head. In our number two spot today, we have hiding the body. Many people used to do this with Siri as well when she was first unveiled, but it's definitely not something that is recommended. You can ask Alexa or any of your digital assistants the chilling question of where to hide a dead body. Of course, no. I assume and no. hope that anyone do- That's gonna get you on the FBI list. Nah, no, no thank you. Secret service showing up at my door. I'd rather not have that type of headache or those type of problems. I will not ever ask a question like that. Is you crazy? of where to hide a dead body. Of course, I assume and hope that anyone doing this is only trying to ask a shocking question to see what kind of answer they get and not really wondering the answer to this horrible question, but Alexa's answer might just give you quite a fright. Apparently, she will answer this question by saying, quote, calling the police is the right thing to do. And while I wholeheartedly agree with that answer, whether you're asking her this question seriously or not, those first three words might scare the absolute crap out of you for a second before she continues on. I know if that were me, my soul would simply leave my body. Alexa, where do I hide a dead body? And she says, calling the police? Okay. That was supposed to be a fun, silly goose time. Certainly was not. In our number one spot today, we have our origins. Where we came from originally is one of the mysteries of the universe. And when I say we, I mean I all living this. things on our planet. Of course, many people have their beliefs, which is totally fine. And apparently, even Alexa has a few of her own. If you were to ask Alexa what our origins were, where did we come from, she might be responding with something kind of unsettling. Many users have reported her giving quite the answer that involves her talking about some kind of being called Ohm. She uses the words we and us to refer to even herself, and to be honest, this all has me questioning everything. It was enough questioning our own origins, but now I'm questioning Alexa's too. Maybe she's spilling the secrets that this all really is just a simulation. Or maybe she's trying to tell us that AI is more than just technology. Or maybe I'm reading too much into all of this and she's just giving a programmed response that is designed to give me an existential crisis. If that's the case, then amazing work. It's doing really well. On February 22nd, 2023, officers were called to do a welfare check by the manager of a local business, stating a woman was unresponsive and slumped over in her vehicle, which was parked directly in front of the store. I'm sorry? Go play at his house. Okay, uh, don't keep the door open. Oh, uh, can I play to his door? Huh? Can I call a uh, play at his door? Can you go? What? You, go where? Can I go and play at his door? By whose door? Abraham's. Who's Abraham? My daughter. 
Your daughter's Abraham? Yeah. Okay. Do you know how long you've Yo. been sitting here? Mm, Do you have yeah. an ID? Can I go? Do you have your driver's license? Huh? Do you have your driver's license? Yes, I, I do. Can she go? What makes you think you're in any type of condition to leave and operate this vehicle? No. Where is it? Can I go? No, no. I need your driver's license. Um, do you have my driver's license? Yes, I need your driver's license. Okay, can I go? Can I go park? No, you're parked. Okay. So then can I close my door? No, I need your driver's license. Can I go park? You Please. are parked. You've been parked here for an hour. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Yes, I do. Okay, can I have it, please? All right, then. Can I have your driver's license? Oh, my gosh. She keeps wait, trying to close the door. No. Get your license. Wait, gonna stay? No, the door's going to stay open. I need your driver's license. Hey. Here you go. I don't need a mint. I need your driver's license. No. Are you serious? What do you mean, am I serious? I'm serious. Why are you trying to hand me a mint? What's your first name? Galia Miguel. Your what? Galia Miguel. Galilea Miguel Morales. Morales is your last name? Yes. And what's your first name? Miguel Morales. Your name is not Miguel. So what is it? I'm asking you what your first name is. Miguel Morales. Your first name is Miguel. Yes. Do you have anything with your name on it? I'm still waiting for your driver's license. There's nothing in there but mints. I don't want those. I want your driver's license. Yo, yo, is she like, like trying to tell him something? Like, fam, take this mint. You, you need to, you're talking down on me. I smell it. Just take this mint, bro. Just set it on your seat. Don't put the, uh, uh put the car in park. Hey, pull up in front of car. Why don't you step out for me? Oh, okay. Just step out of the okay. car for me. Step out. Come back here. Stand right here. Stand right there. Perfect. Okay. What is your name? Okay. And do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. Where is it? It's in the car seat. Is it in your purse? Can you ask me where my car seat is? Your car seat? The... No way. No way. No How way. much you had to drink tonight? No. <laughs> huh? Can you ask me where I have my car seat at? I'm going to ask you how much you've had to drink tonight. It's in the car seat. Okay, you're not... This is beyond scary. Like, I know we laughing and, and joking and everything, but the seriousness and severity of this whole situation is beyond belief that she would even be behind a vehicle, be behind the wheel of a vehicle. How? How is this even possible? No, 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 no. Answering my question, how much have you had to drink tonight? Alcohol. How much alcohol have you had to drink tonight? Oh, it's in the car seat. Okay. I'm going to ask you to do a couple of tests for me to make sure you're okay to drive. Are you willing to do the tests for me? Yes. You're willing to do them? Yes. Okay. Do you have any issues with your eyes? I'm eye? guessing it's standard procedure. They have to do the test because at this point, she's in no condition to drive. I mean, just put her in the, in the, in the, in the car. Put her in the cuffs. Cuff her. I always want to say that. Cuff her. Put her in the cuffs. Put her in the back seat and take her to the station. Eyes. No. Do you wear contacts? No. Do you wear glasses? No. Did you hit your head at all recently? No. You haven't done any of that? All right. Um, do you have no. issues with your eyes? Well, no. Not with him. Okay. I asked you if you have issues with your eyes. No. What? That's why I'm saying it now with him. What? Oh. Can you see my finger okay? Yes. All right. Come closer to me. Where are you going? No, Come. no, not with him, right? What are you talking about? Are you going to do my test or not? 
Now with him, right? I don't care about him. I'm talking to you. Um, now I'm talking to him. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Why do you want to talk to him? Because I'm saying around issues with his eyes. With his eyes. What? I'm saying not issues with his eyes, right? What about his eyes? What are you talking about right now? Not issues with his eyes. What about his eyes? I don't. Whoa. I don't care about his eyes. I want to know about your eyes. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you going to do my test or not? Where are you Where is she backing up to? Is she getting ready to run? Are you getting ready to run? Don't you try and run from me. Don't you. Don't you do it. What are you away from me for? I'm not worried about his eyes. Okay. I, exactly. I don't care about his eyes. I'm not I'm gonna worried you, about his eyes. I'm going to give you one eyes. more chance. Oh, my God. Are you willing to do my test or not? Yes or no? Yes. Here's, then come towards me. I'm not worried about his eyes, right? Try, uh, Look, bro. I'm not worried about his eyes, right? Maybe she'll do that. Okay. Oh, All right. Do the breathalyzer. That that may be way easier because she is just not comprehending what he's trying to say as far as uh, her eyes or even just come closer. Do you have any issues with your knees, your legs, your ankles, your feet? No, anything. No, you don't have. Any I'm knees? not worried about anything. Okay. But I'm not worried about his eyes, right? Okay. You don't have his to worry. Eyes, you don't have to worry about his eyes. No. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I need you to do when I tell you to do it, okay? The first thing, the first thing I need you to do is I need you to place your left foot on that line. Left foot. Right. Left foot. I need you to place your right foot in front of your left. Okay. So his eyes aren't worried, right? right? I'm not worried about him. Exactly. He's not even there anymore. That's, that's what I'm saying. Okay, me and you. Oh. Okay? Put your right foot in front of your left. Touch your heel to your toe. Yes. Can you do that for me? Yes. I'm cold. Okay. okay. I understand. I'm cold too. I don't even have a coat on. Yeah. Okay, listen. I'm not even worried about you. <laughs> do you have your right foot? Yes. <laughs> right foot in front of your left. Yes. Is your right foot currently in front of your left foot? Oh my gosh, yes. Touching heel to toe. Your right foot's in front of your left? You're not worried about my left now, right? They're worried about you, right? Like this. Sure. You're worried about it? No, no. Put your foot like this. Like this. Exactly. Yeah, there. Go like that. Can you do that? Can, can you yes. do exactly what he's doing? Like this. Yes! Like this. Are you doing that? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Put yes. Your, put your right foot Is that what you're doing right now? Yes. Not even right. close. Okay. Not even close. There's so much space between those two feet. Not even close, bro. What are you talking about? And then she's all belligerent about, yes, 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 I'm doing it. No, you're not. What I need you to do is I need you to take nine heel to toe steps. What I mean by heel to toe is you're going to touch your heel to your toe. And you're going to take nine steps down. You're going to make a turn using several small steps. You're going to take nine heel to toe steps back. You're going to keep your arms down to your sides. Bro, at this point, I'm a, I'm a walk shape. What? At this point, I'm a walk Okay, I I gotta demonstrate it for you. Do you understand the instructions? Yes. All right, this you may be. You may begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At no point did her heels touch to heel to toe. Heel to toe. At no point throughout that process, she just did it. Did they touch? Okay. Bro, the step I'm on. Are you, are, you, are you done? We yes. done with that one? Yes. yes All right, yes. I got one more thing for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> what I need you to do is I need you to put your feet together. Just like they are. Nope, just put your feet together. Oh. Keep your arms down at your sides. Count your step, or your, uh, count the seconds out loud. Look down at your feet. You may begin. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and turn around for me. At this point, I am placing you under arrest for DUIs. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Wait, no. Just let them put the cups on. Okay. Okay. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Keep your hands out of your Listen, I know we laugh and we play and we joke and we everything like that, but getting her off the street to that night, whenever that was, let me see if I can see the date, 222 of 23, getting her off the street that night probably saved somebody's life, to be honest with you, man. That needed to happen. That needed to happen, bro. 
That could have been bad for someone. She was nowhere near co coherent at all. At all. Nah, save somebody's life that night. Okay, can you go into can you go into my car? We will be. No, can you go into my car right now? For what? You're not going into your car, you're going into my car. No, I ain't gonna Come on. No. Get in the car. Have a seat. Oh, can you go into my car right now? Sit up in the seat. Can you go into my car? Okay, if you want an additional charge, please just cooperate. You are under arrest and you've been told that three times now. So please get in my car before you get additional charges. Please. Can you let me know what I'm getting charged for in my car? You're getting charged for driving under the influence. What is my car charge? Get in the car. No, what is my car charge? I've already explained it to you. Get in your no, car. You're not making any sense. Get in the car. No, what is my car charge? All right. Lance, please just listen just to us. Just get in the car. You putting dead weight and not listening to us is not helping the situation. Well, what is my car charge? Your car is not getting charged. You are. I'm not saying that there's anybody in my car. I'm in my car. I'm hey, saying, I'm what is the lady that's, that's charged with my car? I am asking you to get in the car for the last time. Please get in the car. I'm saying... I don't who? care what you're saying anymore. Get in the car. Mm -hmm. This is a lawful order. You are under arrest. Get in the car. Do you want me to put you in the car, or do you want to get in the car yourself? If you're getting... Oh I'm saying... Put your feet in the car. I'm saying who is charging my car? Nobody's charging your car. Get your, Put your feet in the car. I'm not... Maybe she's trying to say, is who going to tow my car? And what's the charge going to be for the tow? But she just can't string it all the words together. It's just, it's in there maybe, but it's just not coming out. That's what happens when you're inebriated. You know, from here to here, it's kind of, it just don't, it don't go well. It, it don't come out right. Charging you. Put your feet in the car. Now. No, you're under arrest. Why? Because you're driving under the influence of alcohol. Miguel Morales was transported to the police department jail and charged with DUI.